Hello there assassins, welcome back to another Wheel Assassin Guide. This is the start of the brand new Creel House interior series, and uh, today is episode number one. I'm going to be teaching you guys the first room in the Creel House interior. Ooh, very creepy and exciting. <laughs> um, before we get started, I just want to say that what I've decided to do this series, as it is going to be quite a mahoosive one to get done, is I'm going to film it a room at a time. That means I can get the videos out to you guys a lot quicker. It also means that because of my PlayStation's built-in recording system that every PS4 has, um, it has a little bit of a glitch where it cuts bits of the recording out. So if I am to film like a longer video, there are more likely to be cuts in it. So in order for that to be less likely to happen, I'm going to film smaller videos a room at a time and then get them to you guys a lot faster. It is going to be very exciting and I don't want to talk too much because Let's just get building. Let's go for it. Okay then, Assassins. So, if you followed along with the previous three tutorials uh, to build the exterior of this crew house, you should be left with this for the interior. <laughs> just a bunch of planks and frog lights kind of lighting the place up a little bit. It is very, very sparse, I know. Um, so, what we're going to do is we're going to start, like I said, a room at a time. And we're going to get started with the hallway today. As this will then branch, well, allow us to branch off into the separate little rooms on this first floor. It also allows us to build the staircase that we'll then get up to the second floor with, so very very important section. We're going to take ourselves a note block, some spruce stairs, some stripped birch logs, birch planks, dark oak planks, a dark oak trapdoor, a mangrove door, a spruce fence gate, which these will come up so many times in the tutorial, same with the trapdoor, so please be uh, wary of that, and some dark oak stairs as well. Now before we begin, of course remember to pause the video if you do get stuck and if you have any questions you can comment them down below. And uh, if you have not yet seen the tour video or Stranger Things Season 4, go ahead and watch both of those. Stranger Things Season 4 is of course available on Netflix and the tour video available on my YouTube channel with a link in the description below. Alright then, let's go for it. I almost got that the wrong way around and said tour video available on Netflix and Stranger Things on the channel. But <laughs> <laughs> that would be crazy. Right, what we're going to do is, of course, we have the main doorway here. Now, it's looking very, very boring. Like, ah, we could do way better than this. So, what we're going to do is take our dark oak stairs. We're going to trim off, oh, actually quite a lot of the door, to be honest. We're going to sort of move some stuff around here. Now, we may have to pick block a few things. So, if you haven't got pick block on, I recommend putting it on. Now, I'll show you how to do it if you don't know. You click options on your controller or in your... Uh, PC sort of settings. You go to the settings here in Minecraft. You come on down to, uh, in my case, wireless controller. You can do it through keyboard and mouse as well. And basically, this allows you to assign certain buttons to do things in the game. Now, as you can see here, I have a bunch of stuff kind of going on here. And at the bottom here, it says pick block. Now, I've set mine to the lowest point on the D pad because that uh, is basically a button we don't use in Minecraft. So that is really helpful there. And now I can go up to materials and I can say click on, oh, let me just place that so I can get it back. Click on here and there we are. I can get the block from the actual building here, which is awesome. Very, very useful. Okay then, let's begin. We have the door here. We have all the flooring in the right position, which is helpful. We want the window to be dropped down just, uh, actually, no, 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 that's fine. So we want everything above the window to be just chopped off like this. And what we're going to do is we're just going to stick a stair here, one the opposite side, and then one upside down in the middle here, like so. Now that won't leave any gaps on the front or the back side. Look at that. That actually looks a lot cleaner. And in here, facto. Right. Now we take ourselves some birch uh, materials. We're going to go with a birch plank in the center and then branch off in a kind of nice sequence like this, really. We'll do this just for a two more, like, going into the corners of the building basically because that's where we start the rooms uh, to be sort of diverting off so we can build it into the corners and then we can add in our stripped birch wood uh, logs sorry uh, one warning about this logs uh, these logs sorry is uh, they are one of those materials that do change direction de uh, depicting well depending on where you sort of place these so as you can see this one goes horizontally and that one goes straight up vertically so uh, that can be a bit of a nuisance, so if you do need to change that and go back later, feel free to do that too. But um, we're going to try and do it nice and slowly so we can get this done in a working order. But like I said, 
not the not the most important thing if uh if you don't have an ocd about it like i do <laughs> then uh, feel free to leave it okay let's go like this all the way until we reach the floor on both sides of the doorway here like so look at that that looks beautiful now at the buff uh, at the uh, top here we are going to leave that sort of block gap between the two floors and as i mentioned in my sort of video saying ah i can't complete the krill house uh, well, <laughs> obviously I fixed it. So the fix for this one is just taking yourself any type of material. I'm going to go with just my planks here. And then I'm going to take myself some quartz stairs afterwards just to sort of line the top of the roof here. It is a very, very useful technique and that allows us to add like a... Like, a, I don't know what it is really. Like a sequenced flowy thing between the two roofs, which is always nice to do. That looks lovely. Right, now we come down to the bottom here. We're going to trim off the three layers below here. Now I know we built these already so that was a bit silly on my part but if we go ahead and just trim them off then we take ourselves stairs here uh, spruce stairs if possible and then we'll turn around the corner just here for one and on the other side we'll actually do it for I think it goes two yeah just two here like so. And then we take ourselves note blocks. Now this is the first time I'm using note blocks on this sort of scale out in Minecraft which is really cool because I don't really use this material so um, I actually used it for creating the, the sort of boarding that goes in the bottom of each of these walls. And it goes right the way around the house, which is pretty cool. So there we are. We have this design here. This one comes out one, and this one two. Now this two over here, we can actually extend this along for a third one, I believe, just here. So I'll actually just build this along. It's chopped off, obviously. We're not going to see that. So we can actually build the wall up uh, next to this now. I'm actually going to start here with the stripped birch log. I know we have one here. But that's fine, it's a new corner, and we're not seeing the one behind it, so we can actually do this and get away with it in a nice cheeky way. So, we do this like so, and we build it up to the same position as the one we stopped at above the door frame. On the other side, we can do a similar thing, but um, we do keep this one. The other side is definitely the two forward here. Uh, you know what, I will go and check though, because I am a little bit concerned about messing up. <laughs> so that's one, and that is three. We're going to leave ourselves a space away here and build our door frames which are going to be three blocks in height, so very very big. We'll stick ourselves a dark oak plank just here next to where the actual wood starts rather than the actual stairs. Uh, and then we'll take ourselves a plank over here with birch planks and then we can build ourselves up to the downstairs below and above the note blocks of course. We'll stick a stripped birch wood here and we'll start to do our sort of log pattern here. Oh my gosh, I just realized a mistake on my original. <laughs> here I put another log. And that is not a log, it's a plank. Dun dun dun. It's fine. <laughs> there we are, that looks good. Our first door frame. How very exciting. This is like a first milestone. On the other side over here we can obviously build up this one as well. And then we'll do the cheeky method of starting with the same material. As we know this is a brand new wall. So not to worry about that. We'll do ourselves the door frame with the dark oak plank here, and then we'll go two blocks away, birch plank, and then upside down stairs to start the little skirting board down here. We'll do ourselves note blocks below these two of course, and then we'll do normal stairs just here. Wonderful. Now we'll build the birch up around it, of course in its nice fancy sequence, like this. and. Uh, by the way guys, you don't have to use the same materials as me, especially not here. Uh, I think in certain variations of the Creole House, so from the modern version to the 80s version and then of course to the actual uh, 1950s version, <clears throat> excuse me, they are, they are all different so you can feel free to change them however you need to. 1950s or 1960s? One of the versions anyways we first see the house in. Okay, and then of course there's the real one, so you know, changes up all the time. Okay, so we have this for two. Well, we want to make this into a six block wall just here. So we have like two blocks in the middle that are going to be our middle blocks. So we've already got two, three, four, five, six. Note blocks, of course. Up to down the stairs here. And then just double check your work. One, two, three, four, five, six. Middle two just here. Wonderful. Now we'll take ourselves, of course, the design with our birch materials here. We'll do ourselves birch logs and planks of course all the way along like so now we come over to another doorway 
we'll stick ourselves a dark oak plank and then we're going to drop down here for another three block wall just in here now this one becomes a little bit awkward because we're on to getting to the to uh, sort of fit in the the building but we will manage it so don't worry about that on the other side of this uh, plank you can do a birch of course and then we'll start the sequence again just here i mean you could leave this until the very end but i think it's best to get this done on the way as we're sort of building around with the walls then from the beginning up to downstairs here and there we have ourselves two doorways on this side of the building wonderful that looks pretty awesome gotta say all right then around the corner here now we will have to cheat a little bit now to cheat <laughs> i know it's a bit strange i'm actually going to swap out my door i don't know i grabbed this way too early we're going to need that later so i'm just going to plonk that there for now and i'll see pick block it later i'm going to move my door out and i'm going to grab myself some spruce planks and this allows us to cheat the stairs a little bit and still keep the material sort of flowing around the corner now we need to do that just here because we're going to start to bring it out so we'll do ourselves a we can actually do a stair in the corner here and turn it around here but then the top one we some reason use a plank maybe it's because there's a little gap or something i'm not sure but anyways we'll do a plank here and then we'll do an upside down stair here but then of course continue with our note blocks just around the corner here like so cool now we start our fireplace with our dark oak materials instead we'll go with two blocks just here uh, then you can do yourselves an upside down stair on top of this one slightly awkward because we have a stair here so you can just build temporary one then add in your upside down one there you can do a normal block behind that one and then we'll do an upside down one facing the front door just like so we're not in line with it but just you know facing it like that we'll do a block behind that one and then we'll do another upside down stair facing the front door now this should be in line just like so this one boom awesome now below that one we can add in ourselves two planks just like so and then we're going to use ourselves slabs here just to sort of separate the fireplace from the rest of the building and the flooring of course let's continue with our kind of planks and things going around the corner here uh for the time being we will fill this one in that's fine to do as well no actually you know what i'm not gonna just in case i'm gonna be wrong about it so we'll quickly sort of cheat the corner and just start here instead Remember to do your alternating pattern. It's very important. If the worst comes and uh, it does end up cutting out some of my recording, guys, please just uh, know that I, I'm trying to build as slow as possible so we can hope for happen. I'll put a little message on the screen saying, you know, it's happened here and uh, whether or not to continue what you've been doing before or something like that. Sometimes it does cut in the most awkward positions, but... Um, yeah, we'll have to see and try our best to sort it out. Okay, now I'm going to grab myself my door back. And I'm going to continue with my, my wall here instead of my actual sort of note block pattern. Which is a bit strange. So we'll do a wall straight up to the same position as this one just here. And then we go ahead and start our note blocks and all that sort of stuff again. Now we're going to do it for three over here. One, two, three. Then we do three note blocks. And then we do ups and down stairs just here. We'll continue our wall after this actually. So we'll stick ourselves a temporary block and then our door frame kind of block here. Now past this, I'm gonna do myself about, I think it could be six again, but I would like to check this because uh, there's a chair in the center of this. It goes one, two, three, four, five, six, oh, seven. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blocks like so, and then no blocks on top. And of course, our ups and our stairs as well. Oops, temporary one, and then back to the normal over here. Like this. Cool. Yeah, because we add in the stair, uh, blah, 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 the stair chair even just here. Uh, for these like four blocks becomes a big chair. And then we leave three blocks beyond it for the next door frame. Now the next door frame needs a block, of course. So we add the block in above. And then we do ourselves three blocks until we reach the edge of the house. Don't worry about this, by the way. I know it looks wrong at the moment. That is actually okay. I shrunk the house down <laughs> just slightly on the back of the building. Um, the reason being is because I ended up having to like sort out the kitchen in here and stuff. And I used some real sort of images to do that. And of course, uh, you know, ends up being a little bit shorter than it needs to be. 
Uh, you know what, we're actually gonna do four. And then we can shrink it down in there if we need to. Let's do four here. And then we'll go with our ups and our stairs again. And now we can continue our wall. We'll start with the stripped here and start our pattern from this end, like this. All the way along, remember, to the very front up here. And it should all be in line, which is lovely. If not, don't worry about it. The pattern really helps us to make sure we have the right dimensions. So uh, you can always go back and just double check things if you're a little unsure. So here we go. But we're making great progress so far, guys, so you should definitely be proud of this. Oh, this, if you could hear that in the video, but that was very loud. <laughs> there we go. Look at that, that looks awesome. Now that is that side of the house done. That is that side of the hallway completed, pretty much, with the walls anyways. So that's awesome. So now we're going to spin around to the other side and get this one done too. Oh, we should probably do the back door, shouldn't we, first? Yeah, I think that would be quite important. Let's go get some more materials and sort out the back door first. Okay, assassins, I've just popped next door to the uh, fully built Creole house and uh, grab some new materials as well as dimensions. So we have ourselves a mangrove door, a dark oak trap door, some stripped spruce wood, some white stained glass panes, a spruce fence gate, brown stained glass panes, smooth quartz stairs, a dark oak slab, and some dark oak planks as well. Now then, we are going to need to change up the entire exterior wall here. We're going to go up as far as the uh, the first sort of, well, the end of the, our birch logs here. And we're going to build this along for, let's go for three. Then four is going to be our middle one. And then we want to do another three from this one. So four, five, six, seven, just here. Seven will allow us to have a middle block, like I said, which is going to be here for our doorway. Now then let's go ahead and build up around this area so we'll add in where our door is going to be obviously our first kind of log there and we're going to build this one up so it's like a pillar all the way up to the top here we we'll do the same the other side of the doorway just here now then we're going to go ahead and build up these two blocks above the door frame just here to be fully stripped wood sorry let's make a little hole in there so you can see what i'm doing there we are and then we're going to add in ourselves windows. A window goes here, here, and here. But they have logs on either side of them. So we're going to go down here like so, and then down here on this one as well. Don't worry about the blue showing up here. That's actually okay. I know it's a little bit annoying. You can always change it if you wish. But um, it does kind of change up the exterior look as well. So we're trying to sort of balance the two, which is quite difficult. But um, I think it came out all right. We want to do ourselves one more log here, three above this door frame, and one more log on this side as well. Oops. Just there like so. We're going to do a three block window just here, one block up from the floor, and then sort of two blocks over the door frame too. Now then for our door, it's going to be just here on this plank rather than actually, you know, being in the wall here. Now then, we need to just make sure though that we have the floor material in available um, before we get started here. So if we pop across to the Creole house over here, oh, render, please don't don't lag out. <laughs> I can show you that this is actually a different material. This is some stripped dark oak wood. Now we'll grab this later for the entire rest of the floor, but for now we just need that one to be filled in. So if we go ahead and just plonk that in, like so, we know it's a different material now, so we can continue that later. And now we can stick our door just here and the handle should automatically be on the left side because the hinges well they can't really connect to anything if they could it would probably connect to the other side oh no it doesn't okay forget me don't don't worry about that <laughs> but there we are so that is what we need to do just here and then we're going to take ourselves dark oak trap doors all around the window here all of the windows and every single stripped spruce wood that is showing needs to have a trapdoor on it. This is where the grind comes in for this tutorial, not gonna lie. It is very, very time consuming, but it does look awesome and it does give a lot more texture to the entire tutorial. So when you've done this, it is gonna look pretty cool, but it's just getting to that stage. But like all good things, it does take time. So there we go. Nice, that looks really good. 
Now if we take ourselves some glass panes in the little gaps we've made for them, like so, then we can take ourselves some spruce fence gates and stick them on the front of all of the windows, like this, and then open them up as if they're sort of hatches, I guess, for the, the windows, or like, um, what are they called? Ah, forgot the actual name of them. Like shutters, maybe? Something like that. Sorry about that, assassins. The uh, Royal Navy just decided to fly over. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and uh, take ourselves our smooth quartz stairs next. We're actually going to come up to here. So we're going to come up to the very top of the door frame and sort of curve this around. Oops, not like that. Over here. We'll do it briefly just there for now. We know it's all going to be going along that side, but this side changes a little bit. So I need to get this done once we do the rest of the wall. Now then, I was a little bit dumb here because I've got the, <laughs> the materials for this section which we haven't built the wall up yet. So what I will do is I'll quickly just build this along slightly and then we can continue it afterwards. So we'll go with three blocks from the very corner. So one, two, three, just here. Count the corner one, of course. One, two, three. Uh, then we need our fourth one, which is going to be a door frame for way below. So I'm actually going to build this right down here. All temporary blocks. And remember to keep three blocks above the door. So one, two, and on our third one, uh, on our fourth one, sorry, is where we're going to need to place a plank. So from the floor up, one, two, three, door frame, plank. You can tell because it's going to be the same height as the ones over, over there. This one won't be in line, so don't worry about that. We've purposely made them not in line with each other. So when you're walking out of Ron, Ron Room, one room even, not Ron Room, it's not Harry Potter, you, can, uh, you can't just like run across the hall to the other one. It kind of gives it a little bit more of an illusion. It reminds me of that whole like thing um, in, I'm going to get whole like super historic on you here, but in uh, World War II, uh, sorry, World War One, when they were building the trenches and things, they didn't build them in a straight line so that no, say, enemy could get in the trenches and then just shoot in a straight line and take out everyone. It was so that you could have to, it was like a rat run, you sort of had to go in and out, in and out, like a warren. So um, I don't know if that, <laughs> I don't think that's the same here, but um, yeah, it certainly feels like it, just not being in line with each other, kind of, you know, off. <laughs> Anyways, back to uh, back to what I'm good at, actually tutorials, not, not history. Anyways, let's go. So we want to go for four blocks between this doorway and the other one. So one, two, three, four. Then we do another plank here, take out the ones in between at the moment. So there's a four block gap between these like so, then the other doorway is here. Now then, above this doorway is where we start, we stop with our steps. Now this is very helpful, because we can bring our stairs along to here, and then we can curve them around just here for one. Do make sure it's in line though, because that would be appropriate. the three here. So two overhang from the corner, which is wonderful, because that means we can then bring our stairs down from this. Now if you want to take yourself dark oak planks just here, I know it's very dark up there, let's get ourselves a block so we can see what we're doing up here. It's like this, three blocks behind the stairs. And now we're going to take ourselves slab out from this and below, like this. So it jumps down just by a slab here. And then we'll do a block behind the slab. And now then we're going to continue all of this going along until we've reached ourselves down to almost the bottom. So we do ourselves another slab coming down from this one. I'm going to stick another frog light here and here, just so again we can have a little bit of lighting. See what we're doing. Dark oak is a lovely material, but it is very dark. So let's go ahead and build planks behind these slabs. So we have this like so. And then we want to do another one. Just here like this. Planks once again. So we have ourselves one, two, three lots of these things at the moment. We will do another one over here. So that's now four, like so. And then I think we do need to do another one just down here so it has five in total oh like this good stuff now then we're about four blocks off of the floor right now one two three four blocks perfect so what that means is we can then go ahead drop down from this one with another block this time just here instead of a slab so we have five lots of these different slab block patterns one two three four and five then we build ourselves just a row of blocks like this for these three. And then we're going to build up from the ground for two lots of blocks, again in the three sort of style here. 
And this just goes underneath the staircase and adds like a structural beam, I guess, underneath the stairs in order for it to stay up, you know, <laughs> without gravity. So um, yeah, that looks really cool. Uh, now then, we need to go ahead and switch back our materials to uh, complete this wall and then we can use the rest of these things. I'm so sorry, I got a little bit carried away. Got these a little bit too early. Oh, before we do though, if you'd like to go ahead and change uh, your entire ceiling here, you can go ahead and use yourself the quartz. Bring the quartz stairs along from here. You may have to do it a little bit slow because it's uh, a bit of annoying material. So we come along to the fireplace and then of course we do the zigzaggy turn. Always make sure it goes out from the block that it's supposed to be sort of covering here, not over it, out from it for sure. Right the way around to here. And then we go ahead and bring this along. It's a bit easier here because we have almost the ceiling quite close. And then we bring it along to those planks at the front. We curve it. And then we curve it right around again. Up to here where we've already built up our nice wall, which is lovely. But remember, we have the staircase coming up around the corner here. So again, we need to start the, t the curving going around here. And we'll do this until we reach just past what we've already built with the blocks and whatnot. Let's take another frog light there. So as you can see here, we need to get it past. So to do that, we're going to have, uh, let me just count on my picture. One, two, three, four, five. And it's on six we stop. So one, two, three, four, five. And then on six is where we stop. So back here. And that should be just past this section or at least just on it like so because it will be above the staircase really so when you have it here above the stairs like this you need to take one two and four and we stop right there because you don't want to bang your head on it as you're walking up the staircase so that's going to be good really really good stuff guys that looks really cool i'm so happy with this nice one all right let's get some more materials and then we'll come back to detailing the bottom. Okay, so now we are back here. We have ourselves some more uh, familiar materials. We have our birch planks again, our stripped birch logs, our note blocks, spruce stairs, dark oak fences. Ah, just chucked them at you. Sorry. <laughs> dark oak fence gates, uh, dark oak trap doors, brown stained glass panes, white stained glass panes, and let's begin. Okay, so we have these very helpful floating blocks here, which is awesome. We know these are our, you know, our walls here, so that's great. We are going to go ahead and take ourselves, uh, just let me check something. Okay, okay, that's fine. Right, so we're going to go from here, next to where the trapdoors are and things. I'm going to start with our stairs for three. Note blocks, of course, and then upside down the stairs above the note blocks. What I'm going to do quickly is I'm going to build my chair, and then I can pick, pick block back this material just here which we will need for the door frames in a moment. We're going to come to the two blocks over here that I was on about earlier. So we go two blocks in from this wall, and then these two blocks, so on three and four, if you count from the left side in, you take like a cluster of four, and we just go up two blocks, like so of our fences. And we have a big chair, bigger than me chair, which is pretty cool. Now we can grab our, our blocks back up here. Let's bring them back so they're in line with the wall now like so and now we can take ourselves some more materials for this very big wall so we want to go ahead and take ourselves one two three four stairs here four note blocks temporary block here and then we can start the upside down stairs along the top of the note blocks here we we'll do a temporary one here again and there then normal below and note block in between now this long wall here is worth, I think it's worth 12 blocks, yeah it is. So we need to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. As you can see, that is perfectly matched with this gap here. Now what I'd like to do, that I didn't really do on my original one, is I'm actually going to curve the stair in here, just so that it gives the illusion that it continues along this way. Which of course we both, we all know it doesn't, but um, we just want to forward people <laughs> let's take note blocks all the way along the stairs here then we'll do stairs above the note blocks here upside down 
once again uh, until they sort of curve in the corner again but we need to continue it along actually I'm not going to curve it I'm just going to keep that continuing like that just for now birch now now I may let you guys do this on your own because it is like I said quite a time consuming section but we do need to get the same level as before so literally below where the quartz stairs end that is our highest point with our birch materials so just to here and again we do the alternating pattern the entire way along this wall up to this one until it's just a block below the stairs here I will leave you to the, do this on your own guys because you've got this believe in yourselves do not worry and then we'll get back to some more stuff okay let's go for it so there we are assassins that looks really really nice it does like these using these materials just looks nice and clean very aesthetic as well like wood in minecraft is just a beautiful material and uh, it's nice that we get to use it on such a big scale because it def definitely shines in here yeah good stuff all right let's come on down to this wall over here the four block wall uh the closest to the back door we're going to come up to the staircase above where our quartz is and we have of course have middle blocks just in here for two we're going to stick ourselves a trapdoor here and a trapdoor this side on the stairs that way when they fold down they'll be back to back in the center of the two middle blocks here so we're trying to make like a really really small cable if you like just kind of dangling down here we want to do the same again with the trapdoors like that and then we're going to take ourselves dark oak gates fence gates sorry for two in here one here here two below and then we take ourselves brown stained glass panes for two here and then one on the note block just here shift or crouch click to place that by the way now then back up here we can stick ourselves two white stained glass panes in the center there and then we open up the trapdoors trapdoors <laughs> gates even around this clock like so and that is what it is it's supposed to be a clock just here lovely very nice that looks really good okay the next thing to do is going to be to grab ourselves some more materials i think to actually start decorating this thing hell yeah i think it may be oh before we do that though let's actually just complete this wall because if i don't do it now i will forget later so very important let's go <laughs> let's sort this out so we need to go ahead and start with of course our um uh, our planks and things so we're actually going to take ourselves planks for here um instead of using stairs because it's going to be on the back of the building and we're not going to see this very well so you can come to the fireplace one grab your spruce planks back and then just literally go diagonally like this until you reach this side i think it starts from this way though yeah and then we bring it forward one like so so like that you have five of these kind of diagonal ones and they should be matching up behind the stairs above lovely now of course we do our note blocks again and then we're going to use our stairs again up here as they are going to be seen from the staircase side so for this you just literally go and do this and what we'll do to add in like a bit of an effect is just add a plank behind it like this just for now we can always change this up afterwards and then of course the front the forwardmost ones we take ourselves the alternating birch pattern that we've been doing for the entire build and we build it up to the ceiling height again so like this quite relaxing really and there we go doesn't that look lovely yeah that looks good oh cool okay <laughs> i'm getting excited about my own build oh man how sad <laughs> we'll take ourselves a verdant frog light just here as well just so we can glow up that space and see what we need to do next i think you know what we should do is probably try and uh, complete the fireplace and then the staircase as well yeah get those two done all right then assassins let's get started with this grand staircase that goes up here we will take ourselves some dark oak slabs, some dark oak stairs, dark oak trap doors, dark oak wood, an item frame, dark oak fences, and some brown carpet as well. Okay then. First you want to start with a slab just here. Then we'll do ourselves a dark oak stair just here. Then we want to build up two blocks with, well you can just pick one from the floor, that's helpful, just here of our dark oak uh, then we'll take ourselves brown carpet just here for two then we'll take blocks around in like a three sort of corner here but with slabs on so it goes above the carpet like so 
The space down here can be filled up with two dark oak woods. And the space back diagonally can also be two, just here. We may do a third one in a moment, but for now we'll just do two. We'll then go ahead and build up another two layers of blocks here. And that way we can stick ourselves carpet on top. Then we'll do two layers of blocks again in a diagonal, but let's do ourselves slabs like so. We're also going to add in ourselves two blocks in the corner down here with a slab on like this. We'll take another three blocks here, but with of course carpet on. Slabs in here for three. Carpet in here. Slabs. Carpet. Slabs. Carpet. Slabs. Carpet. Slabs. And carpet. And then we'll do slabs. Carpet up here. And then we need to actually start lobbing out some of the above blocks so we can actually get through here. Like this. Oops, I don't want to take out too many, but that'll just do for now. Cool. Oh, we only need two, by the way. That's my mistake. So only two blocks just here. The rest, I'm going to remove kind of the staircase pattern just here because we don't need that. That was a bit of a nuisance. Apart from that one down there, we can keep that one. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so the next thing to do is to come down to the bottom and sort of start to design the banister that goes up the side of it. We do ourselves a trapdoor here and two on the front of this uh, nice dark oak wood. Another two go here. We do an upside down stair on this one facing forward. So for this we need to stick a temporary block back here. Upside down stair just here. Item frame on top of it and then a dark oak wood at an angle just there for the sort of uh, ball of the banister at the top here. So they kind of, they kind of have like a like a knob sort of effect on the and it's so that the wood you can sort of grip it as you're going up and down the stairs. Pretty cool. Uh, then we do ourselves a I think there goes a fence here, yep, just like so. And then we start up our design for our banister. We do a stair on top of the fence like this. And then we're going to start with another... Let's go three dark oak wood, just like so. And then we'll do ourselves another fence with another stair going up like that. Very strange pattern, I know. <laughs> but it looks good once it's done. And now we can start to actually build on top of these sort of blocks and stuff. Now for these, I'm going to take myself my dark oak wood the whole way along. I'm going to do two basically all the way up here in the little gaps we've made for it, which is nice. And then we take ourselves the fences on top of these all the way. And then we do a little bit of a design with our trap doors and our stairs instead. So we go trap door here and then stair. And then, of course, again, so on and so forth until we reach the very top. This pattern goes all the way up. Oops, like that. And it's even going to go further than this, but for now we can just leave it for there. I'm going to extend this along just so I can get up and down a bit easier. I'm actually going to go until I've reached just the stairs there of the quartz, like so. That really starts to take a lot of shape, doesn't it? Looks really cool. Down here you can take yourself three more trapdoors here. And then we'll also do two around the corner here. And then we start to do some on the side of the building. So we'll do one here, two, three, just like so. You could change that one to a uh, dark oak plank if you want to. But I kind of think it looks good with the dark oak wood, as we have the two before it with the dark oak wood. But these ones we can always do trapdoors on the side of them, just to give it a bit more texture. Just like this. All the way along like so. Now then, the best way to check that you have enough of your stairs in place here is to go via the carpet. Now we start the longest part of the staircase here, so when we actually get around the sort of corner down here and we start to climb the stairs, we should have seven lots of this carpet. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Perfect. So now we'll take ourselves a slab up here for two. And then of course we want to do our design for the banister again up here. Now what I'm going to do for this is instead of doing myself another trapdoor uh, sort of design like the previous one, it kind of switches up a little bit. I'll have to come back to that in a moment. So for now, let's go back down this way and let's go under here and clean up this area a little bit. It's best to do it from the ground upwards because then we can work a little bit easier. We'll do two dark oak wood just here. And we'll do, of course, the trapdoors. Oh, no, we don't. No, no, no. Don't do the trapdoors at the moment. That's actually perfect. 
What we will do instead though, is we'll take ourselves up to downstairs here, and then loop it back around this way. So we have the rest of the sort of stairs. Uh, is that right? Just gonna check this out a second. Yeah, that is right, that is right, perfect. So literally we do like an upside down stair pattern kind of all the way along this way. And it sort of opens up the lowest point of the staircase as it's upside down is gonna be the point closest to the stairs. I hope that makes sense. I know it's a bit tricky. But this means that we can then curve this around the corner here just before we reach the court stairs there and then fill over the blocks above to have a really nice kind of flow to the entire roof here. Now the whole roof will change in a moment. We're gonna like fill it over with dark oak planks and stuff, but for now that's gonna look perfect for the staircase. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay, so on the way up, over here we then again need to do ourselves the banister for two, the trap door, and then the staircase again. And now we're up to the sort of next tier, if you like, of the Krill House. So we're going to open up the floor in here. We're going to stick ourselves a dark oak wood here. And I'm actually going to bring this along and around the corner here as well. So almost on top of these materials. So I'm going to go just to here for one, like this. Going to be coming out a little bit, but we're going to cover all this up, so don't worry about that. Just focus on the top for now. So we go like this for two. We do a banister here. And then we bring this all the way along the top of the stairs. Like this. And even along this way. To the wall over here. Like that. And that'll look really nice. All the way across this entire thing. And then literally just trapdoors across the entire banister. And that keeps us with the scale that we want for the Krill House. All the way along there to that side like so. And from the ground, it looks pretty cool. I mean, it looks a bit strange at the moment, but uh, <laughs> we will sort it out in a moment as well. Uh, but no, that's looking awesome. At the top here, the, the flooring is still the same as the um, downstairs, I, I believe. It could even be spruce instead of dark oak uh, stripped. So we'll have to change that in a moment as well. But once we get onto the second floor, that will all be much easier to get sorted. So um, I will go and check. And I'll be back. Alright assassins, so having gone and checked that staircase at the top there, the actual top of it is literally just the same as the bottom. Uh, so the bottom floor is stripped dark oak wood, and so the second floor will be the same. Which is pretty cool. So we take stripped dark oak wood, some dark oak slabs again, dark oak planks, some brown carpet again, some spruce fences, chains, a mangrove trapdoor, spruce fence gates, and some candles. Just the plain and simple awesome looking candles here. They're kind of like a tan color, which is pretty cool. Now then we want to go ahead and sort of, you know, level this out, make sure it looks pretty decent for uh, when we get onto the second floor and also a lot easier for us. So we can remove some materials there. Actually, we can remove a couple. We want to go just next to this sort of banister area here. And actually we can remove three blocks past it to add in our slabs like this. And it's going to go up until it reaches you know, the next floor here. We can keep those planks because that's perfect. Uh, and then we're gonna take ourselves carpet on top of the planks like that. And then the next floor will basically start on this layer now, just here. We'll mark it out with our strip dark oak wood, but we won't continue it along the second floor yet, just in order not to get carried away. I'm very good at that. <laughs> so down here, we wanna take ourselves some strip dark oak wood for three here. And we can literally come the entire way along here like this. We're going to section it off now. So we're going to section off this area from the rest of the roof in this section. So here, again, uh, stripped dark oak wood above this entire, like, closed off area with our quartz materials. So if you just want to bring it along to the same area as before, so over here, or on that one, and then just build it in like a nice square of stripped dark oak wood like that. Wonderful. Looking good. Like I said, this part of the top here is the rest of the staircase and it goes up on both sides. It goes up on this right side in order to get to the attic a little later on. So we'll do the same sort of design, the three slabs here. And then we go up with two brown carpet here instead of three. There's going to be a wall that comes along here. This one that can stay. Oh no, we'll do, we'll do two as well, actually like that. Looking back at it, I just want to make sure I get it the same. Uh, is that right? 
Oh, it appears that there's actually... We do a bit of a cheeky thing here, actually. We do a slab under that one, like that. So it's not actually sort of filled up. Kind of cool, too. So yeah, we do a slab under there. And then you sort of walk around the corner as if you're kind of climbing a corner there, which is neat. A little bit annoying too, but yeah, that's that's what goes on there anyways, like so. And then this one must be brought along to here instead. And we'll finish up that, like so. So we'll do a recap in a moment. So when you come up the staircase, you've got these six blocks like so. Then you go up to the corner of the, the banister just here for these two, which is perfect. And then we have three blocks beyond this point, just here. One of them includes the banister here. We do slabs starting under the banister along for three. And then we go up for two uh, brown wall under normal dark oak planks. And then we start our second floor roof. Voice break. <laughs> then over here we do ourselves three again in line with the other side. And then we only go up for two on the closest to the left side, like this. I really hope that makes sense guys, but if you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments below. Lovely. Now let's drop back down, and we know that the rest of this roof is going to be dark oak planks. Now we'll have to remove that frog light. I'm going to stick dark oak planks, marking out where we need to stop, kind of our boundaries, which is going to be all the way above this uh, quartz. Now there will be holes in our creel house. There will be certain sections that are just going to not be filled in. Little secrets, if you like. So uh, we can just keep those between us. <laughs> Um, but yeah, we need to fill up this entire thing behind the upside down stairs of the banister here. And then this is the highest point that the roof gets in this lobby section. So let's just fill all this in. And this will look a lot tidier and almost finished, to be honest, in here, which is nice. But of course, we still need to do some of the details. And there we go. So that now looks really good on the roof. It's all kind of completed in here now which is lovely. Yeah, good stuff, guys. Well done. Very well done. Now we need to go ahead and add in the details. And we do have some materials for details in our inventory. We can add a slab here for the fireplace, and then one here and here as well for finishing up the fireplace exterior there. Lovely. Now we go down to this area, and we add in a chandelier that kind of goes at the end of the hallway down here. So up this way. We're going to go to the third block back in the middle, so where the door is, come up to the roof, one, two, three. On four, we need to add in three chains, one, two, three, and then one spruce fence here. Then what I'm gonna place candles just floating anyways. If I try and place it, it doesn't place. We need to have a material for it to sit on, and then you can remove the material, the material for it to be floating. So we'll use ourselves some planks for now, and we'll just go in like a four shape like this. Then we'll do ourselves the candles on top. Uh, for the candles here, we'll do ourselves... Hmm... I think we should probably do three. Because they seem to fit quite well. But you guys can obviously do as many as you wish. Yeah, I'm going to do three. Try and keep it to my original, like this. And then we'll remove the outer blocks and add in gates open. And then remove the middle block and replace it with a mangrove trapdoor like so. And a lovely chandelier appears. <laughs> Pretty cool. Over here, we'll do ourselves another candle. We'll open up a trapdoor just there. Oh, sorry, not a trapdoor. A gate. But first thing we need to add the candles. We'll do three again. And then we'll do our gate just here. Open. The other side, we can also do some more. So we'll do across from the clock, leaving three blocks between this gate and then the next one, which will be over here. Adding in our candles firstly, and then our gate just here like so. Cool. That is all the candles for this area, I think, or at least in this color. Across over here, two blocks from the door frame, so again over here, basically opposite the other ones. We add in some more candles. One, two, three. Fence gate open, just like so. Awesome. And then we'll do another one down here. Uh, we won't do one. Oh, we do do one above the gosh so childish I almost laughed at that uh, <laughs> we, we always do one just above this chair so we do it literally in the middle of our seven blocks that we have here so it's gonna go here of course we need to add in our block for our candles first and then our fence gate below like so and now over here just under this one we do ourselves another one 
One, two, three. Oops. Three. And then a fence gate open again just there. Sweet. Look at that. That's so cool. Okay. And now let's backtrack again to the main hall. Over here, there is going to be one just next to this uh, sort of doorway. So it's going to be literally here. We'll do a plank. Oh, oops, sorry. That was too, too low. We do it here. And then the fence gate here. So literally diagonally up is where we start the uh, the fence gate. And the candle's a little higher than that. Uh, back again along this wall, there is no more candles. But there is some candles on this wall. We need to do some just here. So we're adding ourselves fence. Uh, and then a gate just there. Sorry, frog light. Gonna have to let, remove you for a second. We need to place them up here, sort of second block down from the roof. We'll do a block, three candles, and then a fence gate on the side open like so. And now over here on this one, we also need to do some more. So we'll add in three candles, and then fence gate open like so. Good stuff, guys. Uh, for this wall over here, by the way, you can extend it up just one more layer so it goes behind the quartz here. I recommend just pick blocking these materials back and just quickly do that along here. Just for one singular layer, just above and beyond this uh, kind of quartz, well, behind the quartz, just here. Like that. And then I'm going to break through. <laughs> <laughs> there we are and then we need to add in ourselves a layer of I think it's planks that go in here just sort of next to the staircase giving it a little bit more um, detail and uh, depth so we just take ourselves planks again and we just run it from where you can see it right the way along just to here like so cool and then the one above this is going to be a different material as well so we can actually destroy it for now pick block the dark oak wood back from here and start to build that along here instead. This will help us later on. I know it looks a bit sort of annoying at the moment, but it will really help us later on. There we go. Good stuff. Okay, let's get some more materials for completing the downstairs here. Well then guys, we have almost finished it for today. We just need to take ourselves some mud, a campfire, mangrove trap doors, some mud bricks, glass panes, yellow stained glass panes, dark oak stairs, dark oak slabs and a painting as well we are going to come over to the fireplace firstly we will knock a hole in the ground here and we'll go for adding in two blocks of mud behind that one as well we'll then actually knock a hole in the ground here and here and add in two more blocks of mud kind of around it like so uh, i'm going to do another one here you know <laughs> like so then i'm going to knock out this one and i'm going to replace it with two more mud and here too for mud like so. Uh, I'm actually going to add in another layer of mud above and then I'm going to replace two mud bricks just here so that half of the block is showing on kind of this side here. Then I can add in myself trap doors that go let's try and get them to be here and here if we can like that. I probably should place these the other way around. I think that would be better for us. Yeah I'm going to come around to the other side. <laughs> So we need to come down to this way. Oops, that's not supposed to happen. There we go. We need to kind of place these to be folded up from the front, really, which is a bit awkward, I know. Um, now, it's not the most necessary of detail. You don't have to add this in. So you know what? We won't. It's going to be more, more trouble than it's worth. So let's go around to the front and just literally add in one here and here. So the lowest point of that top block. And then kind of be folded back a little bit like so. And we just add in a campfire there. Basically the idea is these to be folded up um, into the main lobby area and they sort of give the illusion that there's like a like an arch to the fireplace I guess on the inside. Um, I'm just trying to find a photo of it. Yeah, so they kind of fold in a strange way. If we come through this doorway we can maybe do it with a campfire in there. So if we do this sort of thing, like here, like that, so on the side of these blocks like this. And then if we come around to this way, it should look like this, which looks cool, but it is troublesome to do. So if you don't need to do it, don't worry about it. But yeah, there we go. Good stuff. All right. Back to doing the mirror up here. Let's take out that frog light. We'll do ourselves a yellow stained glass for three here and three the other side of the fireplace. So not on the fireplace, 
on both sides of it. The two blocks in the middle will be three normal glass panes and then two yellow above them like nice one guys that looks awesome now we want to come on down to this way over here where the grandfather clock is going to be we can add in ourselves a upside down dark oak stair just here we'll leave two blocks so the note block and the upside down stair and then up here we'll do ourselves a normal facing block uh, sorry off stair like so looking pretty good now down here we'll go for a upside down stair here a block in then we'll do two sort of slabs and then we'll do another upside down stair here for a big long table in the middle of this six long wall we'll then go above the upside down stairs and we want to add in two paintings that are going to be the one by uh, two paintings of Newton sort of stood on the hill I think it's Newton so we need to go ahead and knock out a couple blocks to get this you know in order really it is a bit tricky too but there we go. Luckily, there's only two variations of the painting, so uh, it shouldn't be too hard to find. But we need to do another one over this way as well. So we need to build the wall back in and then find it. There we go. Like so. That looks really good. Lovely. Okay, then. Uh, now let's spin around to the other side and see if we can use these materials again. What do we have? Let's get some planks from here. And we'll stick ourselves two in this corner down here like so. Now we'll come all the way down to this way, over here, and we want to take the same materials as we had here, so the stairs and slabs, and we're going to do ourselves th uh, four blocks in from this wall, one, two, three, four, an upside down stair here, two slabs, and an upside down stair here, so again, same table as that one over there. This one also has a, plain a painting, painting? <laughs> painting, but it's going to be the two by two over here of the sort of Roman sort of sculpture or even Greek sculpture this one just here perfect that was good timing right <laughs> that explains me having to try and uh, that uh, what was I trying to say there that um, that's helpful instead of me trying to explain that's what it looks like actually <laughs> awesome all right so now we want to take ourselves a lightning rod some oxidized cut cobble stairs a dark oak sign a Steve head white stained glass panes birch fences an oak uh oh my gosh my my pronunciation an ochre frog light maybe this frog light anyways <laughs> a birch trap door and a brown candle okay then we want to come over to this sideboard over here so one basically at the, at the entrance of the curl house a lightning rod will go here and this will have an oxidized cut copper stair on like so then we can take ourselves a steve head backwards just here on the side uh, representing just not a head <laughs> like so uh, then we can take ourselves the dark oak signs all around this little table here they don't have to have anything written on them it's just to sort of give the table a bit more texture too like that and above the painting here on the right side we do two white st uh, sorry gray I oh know white stained glass panes even sort of dangling down from the roof but because they're up high and they're in the dark they do look a little grey as well which is quite cool over on this sideboard over here we want to do ourselves a birch fence and then ochre one of these ochre uh, frog lights frog lights even like so we'll do a birch trap door on here we can do it with a handle facing backwards just like that and then we'll do ourselves some brown candles just over here now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it just the second block in and I'm going to do just two like that now back over here by the way we're going to stick ourselves a plant pot there but we don't have that at the moment so instead we'll stick signs here which we'll do a little bracket on the front of these just to represent like a little handle for the drawer and we'll just leave an empty one on the side there like so lovely back over here a lightning rod and another stair on there for a little lamp and that is that little sideboard completed now let's take a wither rose just because it looks really like gothic and sort of old and withered <laughs> a flower pot smooth sandstone stairs a black shulker box an item frame a nether brick wall some chains a very important bell for our grandfather clock and a brewing stand as well over here the withered rose sits in a pot just like so and then above the door we do these two sort of lamps kind of shining through uh, from the ceiling so we'll go next to the doorway and add chains in for the ceiling uh, down for two 
like so. Then next to these dark oak stairs, we do ourselves a nether brick wall, like so, almost for like a thicker part of the uh, chain. Then we do some smooth sandstone stairs here. And then we do item frames below these with black shulker boxes in at an angle like so. So they do kind of show through both sides of the item frame, which is really cool. And it does look like a spotlight below, which is neat. And there we are. Now we take a bell in here, the lowest point where the uh, the note block is. However, you can sit it on the uh, stair like so, and it looks a bit better. And then we stick a brewing stand above that like so. Okay, then we need an item frame here as well. And then we can get the final, final materials for today's first part. Woohoo! Now we'll take ourselves a dark oak trapdoor, a clock of course, a daylight sensor, some stripped dark oak wood, some flint and steel, and uh, oh, I do not know how to pronounce that. Is it an archery frog light? I, th I think so. I'm so sorry, guys. And also a painting as well. Uh, well, painting for in a moment. We need to replace one. Specifically that one. <laughs> Alright, let's take ourselves a clock in here. A daylight sensor on the very top. And then we do ourselves dark oak trap doors folded down the side of each side of the grandfather clock that sits here. Oh, no, no, no. We want it at the top of the stair. Ah, come on. Oh, no. Stuck to the wall. Okay, I'll have to get up here. Nope, don't need to crouch because it's a stair. There we go. Fold that right the way down. And then we do one just here in front of that stair. And there's our grandfather clock looking very grand. How cool is that? Now we take ourselves flint and steel and we can just go ahead and light up all the candles that we have sort of placed in today's tutorial. We'll do this at the end of most of these tutorials in the Krill House because there are going to be very many candles. And of course they do illuminate the, the building nicely. Just be wary of lag. <laughs> this is uh, definitely going to help to lag. There we go. We'll do the ones down here as well. And on the subject of lighting, once we remove all of these frog lights that we've scattered around the sort of halls here and things, it does get very dark under the stairs specifically. So to do something to do with this, to sort it out basically, you come to the painting over here, remove it, and place two frog lights just above. And then we'll replace the painting over here. Where are you? Wait, when when we do it, three hours later. Come on! <laughs> there he is. And then we uh, have a bit of lighting there. That's all covered up. You can also do some under the stairs here. Now, as we made the skirting board with stairs, we can place them underneath and then the light still shows above, which is really cool. We do it the same over here, underneath this uh, part of the chair. So under the stairs there, then replace the blocks and it lights up that little area too. So wherever you feel it's a bit dark, feel free to add in blocks um, of frog lights where you can, basically. You can even do a little bit under the stair there, like so. And that just looks really cool. So yeah, that is everything here. <clears throat> Excuse me. The final, final thing to do is to take our stripped dark oak wood and replace the flooring in here, stopping as we reach the sort of doorways. So we just literally border it off by adding in one singular one on its side. I'm going to do the entire thing, let's say, vertically from door to door. So we're going to literally do this the whole way instead of this, if that makes sense. So it's going to be a very long process, but we'll get it done in a moment. So yeah, make sure all your doors are blocked off with that. And then let's go ahead and make ourselves a nice floor with this lovely stripped dark oak wood. Let's go for it, guys. And well, there we are, assassins. That is it for the first episode in our Creole House interior tutorial. Doesn't this look awesome? <laughs> We've really, really worked hard today, and you should be very, very proud of this. Uh, not going to lie, this series is going to be quite a challenge. It's going to be... Ah, no! No, 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 no. Shh, you didn't see anything. Don't worry about that. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is going to be a real challenge. But it is going to be an awesome one. I'm really excited to get teaching you some of my favorite elements to the Creole House. Like I said, the tour is very, very important because it will show you what is to come throughout these many episodes and it kind of gets you geared up and hopefully excited for these things too. So definitely go ahead and check that out uh, if you haven't already. But yeah, guys, that is it for today's episode. If you did enjoy this one, please be sure to smash a huge Victor Creole sized like. I don't know what that means. How about Vecna? That would be way better. Um, 
a Vecna size like on the video, that would be epic. And if you are interested in staying around for the interior series that is going to be ongoing from now on, please consider subscribing. And if you want to turn the bell on so you never miss one of these interior uploads, then please do that too. That would be very, very kind of you. Um, it is 100% free, of course, and I'm... I mean, you're making me destroy things because you've not clicked the subscribe button yet. Come on, guys. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm going to quickly repair that and pretend that that never happened. Um, but um, also, if you're on social media, I am as well. I do have Instagram and TikTok associated with my Wheel Assassin's Guides content. So please drop me a follow on those. Links in the description below. Until the next time, guys, you have an excellent rest of your day. Stay safe. Go and get yourselves a cup of tea now. You really have earned it. Um, and I will see you at the next Creole House interior video coming very shortly. Goodbye for now, Assassins. Thank you so much.